Okay, hi. How you doing? Well, I think this video is gonna come on after Christmas because it's the day before Christmas Eve and I don't think it'll be ready. <laughs> but I may end up popping in on Christmas Day to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Okay, so this is sort of like a tray. Uh, you know, I wouldn't probably think for food or anything because it's not that big actually. And it's going to be just hopefully pretty. Um, these, well, to start with, I went ahead and I got these from Amazon. And they came with uh, little handles. Get the handles. And I may use these. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So then I'm going to be using the premium quality resin. It's a general purpose casting resin from the epoxy resins. So what I've done is I've taken like these little rocks, you know, crystal clear ones. And uh, I've made these a long time ago and actually just put them in a little cup. And then I went ahead and put some metallic gold alcohol ink in with it and made these. So I think those will look pretty in there. Um, what I'll try to do is sort of marbly looking. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm going to try. I'm going to use the pearl white and the newer black. So just a little tiny bit of black in there. And then I'm going to do some streaks of the liquid leaf classic gold also. Um, I think that covers everything. So, wish me luck on this and enjoy the video. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I forgot. I was going to say how wide it is. This is about 12 long. Then it goes about a 9 here. And it goes about a 5 here. Okay. Alrighty. Here I go. Oh. Uh, I actually made some of these up too. I think I'm gonna use the small ones. These were actually made from uh, those small cabochons, I think. Anyway, I crushed them up, cooked them in a skillet, and uh, then submerged them in cold water, and they crack. And these were all the smallest pieces, and I added alcohol ink to those too. So I thought I'd just tell you and change my mind. <laughs> See, here I go. I won't be adding the rocks until a long time later.
so here we are and it's completely changed. <laughs> Which, for the good, all the way. It's like it has that natural ring in here, like quartz uh, geode. But yeah, completely changed. And it, you know how when you do a coaster or something, they always go inward? And I love how it does that. So it's pretty cool. Let's look at it. But I'm thinking I'm going to put a top coat because I have that much room still. See how much room I have? But you can see the gold liquid leaf. But yeah, I love how it just, that pearl white is beautiful. How it pulled in like that. I tried texture that did not work. That was silly. I should have known better, but I tried. I, it would have if I would have waited longer. Look at all the veins of gold, though. I think it looks really cool and natural. Very cool. So, yeah, you could feel, like I said, we're going to use this first sort of like a, you know, perfume thing or put your jewelry on or something on your dresser. But you could feel the rocks a little, which is fine, but. Notice there was a bubble right here because there's air in the tube. Forgot to even check on that. And this one was fine. But there was one right there too. So, what I'm afraid of is the top coat might cover up this gold shimmer. Uh, if it does, I'll have to lay some down on it real quick just to kind of add a little more effect to it but I don't think it will yeah, I hope not sometimes when you lay resin on top of something shiny it might take it away the shine it might take that liquid leaf away I don't know um, you know I've only used that stuff a couple times so but I sure love this oh I was going to make my own handles like out of these okay and I was going to have them clear, but with a little of the uh, gold flakes in them. Just a few gold flakes here and there, okay? But it, it's not an elegant type. Look, it's sort of, you know, and I think that would have kind of clashed a little. I don't know. I just decided to go with the handles that came with, and I'll use these little molds another time from next ones so and then yeah it's really cool how it just drew in it's beautiful just gorgeous and it's going to be even more cooler with that gold trim around the edge the edging gold so i'll go ahead and i'm going to put a top coat uh just you know to kind of get in here and then maybe it'll cover up these little spots okay and then we'll take it out of the mold So here we are, and it's Christmas Day. I <laughs> just woke up. Merry Christmas, everybody. I still plan on coming on a little later in person to wish you all a Merry Christmas. <laughs> anyway, this turned out beautiful. So it still showed up with the top coat. <laughs> I love it. I don't know if any of you do. But I love it. Now, with the gold around that rim, that should be really pretty. This is going to take a little time, maybe. Uh, 
Uh, you know what I'm going to do real quick, though? Is I'm going to replace this. Let's see. Lay this somewhere. Good old parchment paper, eh? I'll tell you what, I like those silicone mats, but they do take a long time to clean. You gotta put them in water, and if they're big, they're they're not fun. So this turned out beautiful. Very pretty. This is that gold, just the direction that it's turned, it pops out. You know? Okay. I'm so curious what the bottom looks like. It is boring. It's all white. Right on. <laughs> okay. The bottom. There it is. Very boring. Because, yeah, I didn't even blow any of this around with the heat gun. I just torched it a little, get rid of any bubbles. Um, you know, with my little tiny torch, and that was it. And this, just the way it settled, was like that. So I'm gonna put a rim around it real quick. Okay, and then we'll take a look at it. The edge. Old edging, but I'm going to take all these little pieces off first. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Put that on there. That took a while. But I didn't do the, the sides. I just did a little bit to show you how it would look there. Um, so when I'm looking down in the camera, the, the handles look crooked. They're not crooked. It just looked that way because of the camera angle. But see, once I straighten it, you can see they're straight. That's just the way I have my camera. Hold on, now I gotta adjust it right. Okay. Let's take a look though. That looks pretty. That's real good. Well, I'm happy with this. Let's take one more look at it. That's beautiful. Still can see it a little tiny. Bubble, that was the first surface, but that you can't even tell because the pole's in the way. I just love that pearl white. <laughs> it's gorgeous. So I'm very, very happy with this outcome. <laughs> now, I had told you the other day that I was going to make that little dish with that leftovers from these. Um, yeah, with the camera, too, it just seems to cover up the color a lot more, but, uh, I was kind of disappointed because, yeah, they were see-through, and they kind of took away the color of the butterflies, but they're still pretty, you know? So, 
Yeah, but they bling. <laughs> oh, man. And that one being clear. It's still a very pretty set, though. Now, if they were all blue like that, that would have been really awesome. So, that's the glitter. I told you guys I was going to make that little trinket box. So pretty with the blue in there. In person. Oh, wish you could see it in person. So I originally made this lid. And it was just like boring. Okay. All of them the same. So I ended up making this one. Where the middle is the glitter. The outside is clear with just a tad bit of glitter it just gives it a little different look there it is i told you i'd show it to you it's cute and i had some of the pearl white left over and i made this little coaster Now see, I could have thrown some of them flakes and stuff in there. I don't know what would happen if I zoom in. Let me see. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But see, I mixed it, so it's not as, the gold is not as noticeable, but it's still pretty. Whoops. Sure, I could have put some bling and all that, but you know what? I didn't want to ruin it with uh, that gold. Would kind of think it would have threw it off. I love this natural look around in here. I wouldn't want to put any flakes around on top of here. I'm happy with it just the way it is. <laughs> I am very happy with it. These... Wish those butterflies would have been a little more darker. But still, they're beautiful, you know. And happy with my trinket box. So, oh, with this lid here, I have to put like a little stone or maybe like a pearl on the top. I don't know about the pearl, though. I have some of those gold stones. That way you can pick it up, take it off, you know, instead of sticking your fingernail underneath. <laughs> anyway. Well, I'm going to go get myself cleaned up, and later on, I'm going to do a quick little video. So, I might as well get this one out first, then wish you all a Merry Christmas in a personal video. <laughs> I don't like going on camera, but I suppose I need to once in a while. <laughs> oh, I get really tongue-tied then. You think I do now? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I can only imagine. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of my tray. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, did I measure it for you guys? I think I did. Yeah, it was like from that corner here to this corner, it's actually 13. Yeah. And then here, from here to here is eight, the widest point. Hmm. Alrighty. Catch you later. <laughs>